What is up, guys? I hope you're having an awesome day today. Sorry for the uh, little bit late start. I had to update everything. So hope you guys are doing well. As you guys come in here, make sure you smash the like. Give me a little thumbs up. Make sure you guys can hear me. Okay, I'm not at home right now. I'm uh, beauty and perks of an online business. I'm hanging out at a coffee shop today. I'm trying to catch up on some work, trying to get a little bit of quiet time. And uh, so hopefully you guys can hear me and everything as you guys are, are joining in here. So what we're going to do today is talk about Instagram and some things that you can do to improve your Instagram account to make sure that it's converting higher and selling your online training program. So one thing that uh, and we're also going to be doing some account audits based upon some of the feedback from the people that I've seen uh, drop some comments down here below. So it's going to be really, really cool. I think you guys will be able to get some feedback and see exactly what you should be doing. So the thing that you need to realize is whenever you are utilizing something like Instagram uh, for your business, it should be a piece of your marketing strategy, but it shouldn't be the overall or your 100% go-to uh, for your marketing plan. If that's the only thing that you're utilizing and leveraging for your sales and marketing process, you are missing out big time. So when it comes to your Instagram or any social media account for, for that matter, I want you to think of the social media accounts as billboards for your business, right? Like if you have a brick and mortar facility, the only thing to promote it that you would do would not be billboards, right? It doesn't really work that well, but it's just a way to get a lot of people's attention, um, but it's kind of weak on the calls to action. You really can't control a lot of, of the things. And that's how I want you to think about leveraging your social media is a billboard. That being said, we want to make sure that we're maximizing everything that we do. So I want you to kind of start changing your mindset for what you or how you view Instagram and your social media. For you guys, if you have an online business, it's not social media for you, it's business media. That means that the entire reason that you do it is not to hang out with your friends, uh, is not to check the latest, you know, funny meme, but it is for your business. So whenever you are on there, you need to treat it and run it like a business. So that being said, as we dive into some of the things that your account needs, realize that's the perspective that we're going at this with. It's not just to create uh, a bunch of followers and it's not just to um, post a bunch of cool content because those two things do not necessarily mean more money in your bank account. I will tell you that I've worked with people that have over half a million followers, uh, fitness professionals um, that have over half a million followers on their Instagram account and they struggle to make 500 to a thousand dollars a month with their online training business. So a lot of times people chase the wrong things like, oh man, I really want to grow my Instagram so I can grow my brand, grow my reach so I can make more money online. It doesn't really necessarily always mean that or work that way. Because at the same time, I've worked with people that have less than 5,000 followers that make well over $10,000 a month um, because they had an email list, which to me, that's the, the whole reason for this social media is getting it from traffic that you don't control, like social media, into traffic that you do control, like an email list, a text messaging database, WhatsApp group, or things like that. So whenever you're doing those things, the whole purpose is to drive traffic to lead generators, opt-in, stuff like that, so you can capture their information, so you can have another contact point to uh, reach out to them and everything. So let's dive into some uh, Instagram account stuff. So as we're doing this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share my screen here in just a second. Um, I want you to realize that your social media account should do a few things, and I, actually all good marketing should do a few good things. One thing is, is it should obviously attract your dream clients or attract the type of people that you wanna work with. Um, all good marketing should be speaking in a language to where when somebody hears it, it's like, oh my gosh, it sounds like they're talking directly to me. Um, reason being is because you are, the messaging that you use is to attract and speak to the target market that you want to attract. The second thing that good marketing should do is repel the people that you don't want to work with. Um, because it's not just about getting a bunch of eyes to look at you, it's about getting the right ones to look at you so they become your customer. The other thing with your social media account, it should be very similar to your website. So when people come to it the first time, there's a few questions that they need to be able to answer almost instantly. And if they can't, they won't follow you. They won't subscribe. They won't uh, fill in their email address for any newsletters. They won't buy your product. Um, and it's these questions is one, what do you do? Don't assume just because you're in fitness or even if you have a bunch of uh, 
fit pictures of yourself on there that they're going to assume that you are a trainer and that you have an online training product to sell. Like be very specific about what you do. Like what is the problem that you solve? You need to be very clear with that. So when people come to your page, if they are your dream client, they know, hey, that's I'm struggling with that. I deal with that. And so they instantly like that's the first thing that they're looking for. Uh, the second one is how are you going to make their life better? So, OK, what problem do you solve and how are you going to make their life better? So if they if this is the problem that you solve is like, you know, uh, 30 minute or less hit workouts for parents or something like that. Well, what problem do you solve? You know, well, what we solve is, is we are how we make their life better is, you know, no longer do you have to think about, you know, what you're going to do that day, but we make all of our workouts delivered simple, simple, uh, effective hit fat loss workouts delivered directly to your email, uh, box or email box every single day, whatever your, your tagline is or whatever. Um, and the third thing is, is, is how to get started or how to engage. Like don't assume that just because people come to your account, if you have a link or something in your bio, that they're going to click on the link. You got to tell them to click on the link or they're not going to click on the link. Um, it could be as simple as on and something like Instagram using like a little um, a down arrow to like point down here so people know, oh, that's where I should go for that thing. Um, because don't, not that your customers are stupid, but people don't want to have to overthink. So you really want to hold their hand through this entire process as they're coming and they're seeing your content and engaging with you on social media. So that being said, what we're going to do now is I want to show you guys my, my account is by no means perfect, um, but there's a few things that I've done well that have served me to help grow my business. I want to share those things with you and also some things that I need to work on and uh, I'm continuing testing and improving as well. So this is little old me right here. So on my account right here, you got to think about the very first thing that people see whenever they come on is for one, um, here's a few little pro tips. So this right here, whenever you're building out your account, this right here is my username. But then whenever you go into your settings of your app, this is just my name. And here's a few fun facts. Both of these are searchable terms. So since my name, my username is Sean Garner, I don't need to put my name right here as Sean Garner. What I want to do is put a searchable term that I want to be associated with. So I want to be associated with being a fitness business coach. So if people are come right here into the search bar and they start searching for a fitness business coach or for some people, it could be like hit workouts or workouts for busy moms or the, you know, the, the mom fat loss expert, like whatever you want to be known as, that's a searchable term. So change your name to that, especially if your username is your name. Um, that's one pro tip for you right there. But when people come to my account, I want them to know instantly what I'm about, what I do, what problem that I solve and how they can get started. So right here, you come to my thing, faith, family, fitness, man, that's my life. I, I'm very open with my faith. You know, I love my family. I'm a big family man. And my kids, there's my son right there. My kids are in a lot of my videos and uh, I'm in the fitness industry. And then, so I ask a question for mine, right? It's, are you a fit pro that's struggling to create market and grow your online training business? So right here is the uh, problem that I solve, right? I help people create, market, and grow their online training business. And right here, duh, 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 the uh, way I do that is receive the clarity and blueprint you need. So Instagram obviously only lets you have so many characters. So I give people clarities and blueprints for building their, for creating marketing and growing their online training business. For To get it, boom, down arrow right there. They're going to click on that and it's going to take them to my website. Um, I try to keep everything somewhat clean. I don't have too many highlights on there because again, I think about how do I consume content on social media? I really, even if somebody has a bunch of highlights on their page and stuff, I very rarely check them, but I do think that it's good to have them. Um, just don't have like, some people have like dozens of them, like nobody's scrolling through there to look at that stuff. Um, so, so don't worry about having, having too many of those. So that's a, a quick overview as far as like the initial things that people are going to see on your page. The next thing is, is right here, mine, you can't see it because I don't see my own stuff, but on some of these other accounts, you'll see like Dom right here. We'll click on his stuff. There we go. There's a red ring around it right now. That's because he's recently posted to his stories. And uh, so that's why you always want to show that when people come to your page, like, oh man, this person's really involved with their content. So they're posting new, fresh content. If there's not a little red circle around it, it means they're probably, they haven't posted anything in their stories for sure in at least 24 hours. So they're probably not really that engaged online. Um, and that's for a consumer, it can be a huge red flag. Think about this. If you are going to sell an online training product, you need to show up online. Imagine this. 
if you, and this is one thing that I really hope you guys understand with your social media content, why you need to be showing up every single day. Imagine if you were trying to grow your personal training business and you only showed up to the gym once every two or three days a week. Like if you only show up to the gym one to three days a week and your personal training business isn't growing, it's pretty obvious, right? Like, oh, well, you're just not showing up. You got to spend more time in the gym. You got to get to know the members. They got to get to know you. You got to be there more so they can see your face. Like, guys, hello. The exact same things that you did to make your in-person business successful is the exact same stuff that you have to do online. If your online business is growing, isn't growing like the way you want it, it's probably because you're not showing up very often. Reason why you need to show up is because for one, people don't see your content all the time because the uh, organic algorithm, you got to make sure you're always showing up. But even if they are on there, think about this as a consumer, they're buying a digital product from you. So if you can't show up by showing up in your stories, posting content and stuff on a daily basis, that's not going to instill trust in them that you're going to show up and be available for them in another online training uh, environment. So realize that your consumers think those things, whether they are thinking it subconsciously or not. Like if you're not showing up constantly on your stories or on your content at all, they're not going to have faith that you're going to be there for them for the online training product. And that's affecting and hurting yourselves. So that's why you got to show up with everything that you do. So that's why making sure you post daily stories is very, very important. Um, then the other thing is just having a wide variety of content on here. So I have like IGTVs, I've got pictures, I've got, you know, short form video content. I try and like uh, utilize all the aspects of the Instagram. So, you know, I, I try and do uh, live videos at least once a week. I'm in my stories every day, all different kinds of content from uh, like, here's a carousel post. There's another carousel post. There's just a single image all the different types of content that Instagram allows you to create, it's important to use all their features because they are going to reward that you're using the platform like that. Um, so that is a, guys, we could go a lot more in detail to that, but I want to honor and respect your time. And I want to get into these uh, three accounts, Dom, Chad, and Natalia, um, that uh, I want to dive into their accounts because each one of them uh, do some good things, but also some things that we can do to improve their account. So let's kind of dive in and look at this. So first one that I want us to look at is Mr. Dom Frazier. So Dominic, I've had the honor and pleasure of knowing him for, for a while, but let's dive into these and see some things that we can improve. So first thing that Dom does really, really well is um, he's obviously posting his stories. You can see the little red circle. He's active in his stories. So as a consumer, I'm like, okay, that's awesome. Some things based upon just like what we've already covered um, he could optimize this a little bit more. Like I like that hit. That's a performance coach. So if people are searching for that, that's great. Um, help you unlock, helping you unlock your human potential. I think that's kind of cool. Um, we could probably be a little bit more specific. This is one thing though, that I, I want to talk about on Dom's account. Cause I see so many people doing it. This stuff right here, guys, it might make you feel cool, but unless these companies pay you a whole lot of money, it does you no good to have them in here because remember, consumers, we want to make everything as specific as possible um, and as clear as possible because if you give them too many things, um, they're probably going to do the, what you don't want them to do. So if I'm a consumer, I come to your account, you really ultimately want them to follow you, message you, or click your link. You make no money if they click on Techno Gym right here. You make no money if they click on uh, BPI. So don't promote that stuff unless you, uh, one, it's required because they're paying you a bunch of money, or two, if you go to that page and there's a bunch of pictures of you. Like right now, they can click on there and there's a lot of people that, that post things like this, especially for supplement companies. The biggest one that I see is like Lululemon. Like it seems like almost every fitness professional is a Lululemon ambassador. So it really doesn't have that much weight. doesn't add any more value to your clients that you're trying to attract. And uh, like I said, even if they click that and go, like you're not making any money off of affiliate links or anything like that. So your social media is business media. So make sure that it's supporting you and your business. Um, so that way you can also take that room out and give you more room for some copy that you could put in here. So you have a direct call to action for this link because people are going to click on that link unless they're like huge super fans or you tell them click on the link. So like, okay, you help people. Uh, so this right here, I would take this out 
um, just because you pretty much already say it right there, Frazier Fitness Human Performance. Like you already are here, performance coach. Cool. So you can take out that. You can take out all of this stuff right here, and it gives you a lot more copy of where you can really dig into the uh, problem that you solve for people, how they can get started, and how you're going to make their life better, and what's going to happen when they click on the link and what you want them to do. So that way, when they do go to click on the link, they're going to be pre-framed, which means they're going to be in a better state of mind they're more apt to do what you actually want them to do. Um, another thing, just I know this just from Dom, like Dom does a great job of posting content um, on a daily basis. Like, there we go. That was something that was posted just 17 hours ago. So it does a good job of engaging with the content. Just some of those things that you could do to make sure that you are uh, cleaning up your messaging, having some more clear calls to action uh, over people. Oh, this is one last thing. So I just saw that on this, guys, whenever you do repost stuff, um, take this out repost that kills your engagement with Instagram because Instagram uh, doesn't really reward reposting content. It rewards more original content. So you can repost it, but just take out the repost link and like the tags for these repost uh, companies You can get the paid or the full, the paid version. And it typically eliminates that stuff. But that hashtag repost uh, honestly sometimes kills your account. So that's that on uh, Dom. Next is my boy, Mr. Chad Smith. Chad Smith is in here right now too, so that's awesome. So, okay, so a few things with Chad. One, Chad, you are awesome. You're a beautiful man. Look at this, but you're not showing up, man. You're like the cool kid that uh, has all this value, but you don't ever show up to the party. So you don't have anything in your story. So if I come here, I'm like, oh my God, that's exactly what I was looking for. Well, I can't click on your story, so I can't get to know you anymore because you're not posting any content in there. Then the next thing is I come here and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I think that's so funny. Yes, I 100% agree with that. But Chad doesn't even hasn't even shown up to this party in over four weeks. So even if I loved everything that Chad's about, like he's not going to really be here very often. So it doesn't really do me any value to subscribe to him because he's not going to be very active on here. So that's the biggest thing is making sure you guys are showing up daily. Um, then right here, like uh, I think that that's awesome. Like the, obviously, if you if you're promoting your gym, that's cool. I would. Um, so this is one difference is you could actually tag your gym here if your gym has an account because you want people to go to that obviously because you're the owner. Um, if not, I would take that out. Uh, one thing that nobody's done yet that I love, guys, don't put all your certifications in your bio, like NSCA, uh, NASM, CPT, uh, you know, like PN level one, like consumers don't know what that stuff means and they don't care. They're coming to your page and or your website, whatever it is, and they want to know what problem you solve, how you're going to make your life better. And if they like those things, what do they need to do to get started? So this right here, uh, Chad. Um, I clicked on this. It looks like it's some type of like Google form type of a thing that you're wanting the people to fill out, but I don't even know what it's for. Um, so if you could pre-frame people a little bit better, tell them exactly what this link is for. Like, why would anybody click it? And uh, you could do other things like get a, go to GoDaddy, get a custom domain or a vanity URL. So you could have that link forward to that. So it just looks a little bit cleaner because this looks like a spam link. And so I assume if you check your analytics, very few to anybody is clicking through it through this domain. So make sure you're very clear with the call to action, who you help, um, the problem that you solve, how it's going to make their life better, what they need to do to get started, and uh, just clean up. Show up to the party, Chad. You're a cool kid, man. Don't uh, don't hide it from us. Uh, the last thing is uh, super trainer I have the opportunity and honor of working with is uh, Miss Natalia. Natalia does an incredible job here. Um, but she wanted to review her account with you guys and uh, some things that she does really, really well. And I'm going to show you just one thing that I see also uh, people like Natalia that have pretty solid businesses, still a uh, few mistakes make. So first of all, Natalia, super, super she's done, obviously had the opportunity of working with her. And uh, so she knows a lot of these tricks. So look, she's got her name, Natalia. Then right here, fit moms and moms to be, because this is searchable. So again, if people are searching for mom stuff, fit mom stuff like that, it's gonna pull up her account. Look, oh my God, this is extremely clear. I help busy and tired moms regain their fitness and feel sexy AF. Like, okay, if I am a busy and tired mom, like boom, let's regain my fitness and feel sexy. Like she's very clear about um, who she helps and the problem that she solves and how it's going to make their lives better. Like they're going to feel, they're going to regain their fitness and feel sexy. And guess what? Check out all the free plans available to you. Download now, like very specific. So if I'm a busy mom, I know what problem she solves. 
She helps them regain their fitness. How it's going to make my life better is I'm going to feel sexy. I don't know exactly what I need to do to download. I can tell she's obviously, I know Natalia. She posts every single day. She does at least one post per day. Her content looks clean. Um, this is one thing I want to share about Natalia. Um, because this is, um, first time a man's called you, you are beautiful, Chad. Um, Natalia does a really good job about this. And I think more fitness professionals could learn from something like this. Look, Natalia, um, has a very successful online training business, but look how minimal amounts of workouts that she posts. (gasps) There's hardly any on here because most people in fitness professionals think that they have to post all these workouts and exercises and shots of their food and stuff like that to uh, be successful online. Like, no, like people don't really, I should say this, customers really don't care. Other trainers, for some reason, like watching other people work out whenever we do that for a living. So I've never understood that. But look right here. This is, she's sharing stories of uh, one of her clients going through these uh, testimonials right here. She's also got like, uh, she's a fit mom. She's just like talking about like hanging out with her kids, supplements, stuff like that. It's See, she's got like some, some coffee. She obviously does some, some brand deals and stuff with some companies and stuff, but it's more so talking because she has found out exactly what resonates and connects with her audience. Um, so again, shows up their stories, does a great job. Not a lot of, uh, uh, um, highlights here, but again, the ones that she has look really good and clean contents, really clean and looks good. But, oh, Natalia, this is one thing that I see a lot of really cool people like you do. Um, that could be costing you a lot of money. So very clear call to action, right? I am a fit, I, I am a mom and or mom to be that I am exhausted and busy and I want to regain my fitness and feel sexy AF and I want one of these free workout plans. I click on the link and then dun dun dun. Oh my god, there is way too much to click on. So I'm gonna come here. I'm going to get so overwhelmed. I'm not going to know what to do and I'm going to click off and I'm going to bounce. Um, so you want to have, whenever you do have a call to action, you want it to be very, very clear and specific. So like, that's awesome that you have all this free stuff, but limited. Like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different free things plus a nutrition coupon code, plus a couple of other things. Like it's going to be so overwhelming. What I would recommend is you promoting like one free thing, uh, um, every other day, one free thing a week. And that be your focus point, um, of what you do and you're driving, driving traffic to just one thing. Cause I guarantee you, if you limit the amount of links that you have in here, and even if you just took them away and you just drove traffic on your page, just to one link here, um, instead of like this, it looks like this was made in like a lead pages or Insta pages or something like that. Your conversions would go through the roof compared to what they're doing right now, just because there are so many different options. I know a lot of people, fitness professionals, especially like you struggle with like, oh my gosh, I want to help all these people. And I, I do all these really cool things. I don't want people to miss out. I understand that and know that. But by doing that, um, you're actually hurting yourself and your business by trying to give away too many things because Last thing that I will say as your little pro tip is the confused customer never buys. Whenever somebody's confused, they're not going to know what to do. And so they're going to try and find a more simple solution, which might be somebody that's just offering one free thing. So just be very clear with what you have. Great content on there. You're very clear with who you help, the problem you solve, how to get started. But then once I was ready to take action, I have no idea what I do from that point because there's way too many options. So guys, I hope this video is helpful for you today. Remember, we do these free trainings in this group every single week as part of my EntreFit Business Coaching Consulting. If you're a fitness professional and you're looking to get more help and you're wanting to create, grow, and market your online training platform, love the opportunity to work with you. Um, just click the link below and visit us at EntreFitCoaching.com and we'll give you the clarity and blueprint that you need to build a successful online fitness business, guys. Tag your fit pro friends, bring them in the group. Let's add more value and help more people. Have an awesome day. We'll talk soon.